Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi, and today we're taking a look at the new Hermes Plen Air Mineral Powder Bronzer and Highlighter. So I wanted to first show you how this came packaged. I did repackage it, so mine is a little bit messy, but we have your traditional Hermes packaging here with the orange showing through, and then when we open it up, we have our pull-through box, and then this is both the bronzer and the highlighter are this size. They're like an oversized one. So this actually is a bronzer here at 18 grams net weight. We have a one year shelf life on this and it's called the Healthy Glow Mineral Powder. It's a trio. Again, I've already used mine, so I've got some dust on the mirror and along the edges here, but you can see you have this clear plastic tray on top. And if you want to use this tray again, notice that you have a cutout at the top and at the bottom, you need that for the hinge. So those will have to be positioned in the front or it will not close all the way. So the inside lid of the box tells you a little bit about the bronzer. It says H Trio, a harmony of three subtle shades to be used alone to sculpt facial features or as a trio for an all over natural sun-kissed finish. So we'll talk a little bit more about the details in a minute, but first let me just show you the shades here. So this is number one to Tori, and you can see we actually have three different shades in here. So the one, two, and then the H is another one, and then the edges on the outside are the lightest. So these two on the top and bottom are your deepest, the H is kind of your middle shade, and then we have the lightest around the edges. So in practice, it is hard to isolate those if you are using like a brush or something, but it can be done. Most likely though, for anybody using this, you're gonna swirl all three colors together. So let's go ahead and swatch it. And I'm going to start with the shades individually from deepest to lightest, and then we'll swatch them all together. So here is the deepest shade. This is the H, the middle shade here. And you can see this is gonna be a little bit lighter, a little bit more golden. Both of these are all, all three of these shades are gonna be fairly warm. And then this here is our lightest shade. So this is kind of a soft golden bronze kind of shade. This has a little bit more yellow and this we've got a little bit more orangey yellow tone. So all three of the shades are going to be warm golden bronzes. So I have to say, I, when I purchased this though, the pictures on the website made it look cooler. So I thought it was going to be cooler in tone than it is. So this is what it'll look like when you mix all three shades together. So we will do some comparisons with that bronzer in a little bit, but let me go ahead and show you the highlighter. I have used this for a few days now, so it's gotten <laughs> a little messy, but you can see, again, we've got three shades. We have white on the top and the bottom. The H is kind of a coral champagne, and then we have more of a medium rose champagne on the edges. So let me go ahead and isolate those for you first. All right, so we're gonna use the opposite arm this time. So here's our white, and you can see it is a shimmering white, but there is a, you know, it, it's pretty much an ivory white. So it's not gonna be a super cool white. It's got a little bit of warmth to it. Here is our medium H shade. You can see this is gonna be a soft peachy champagne. There's a touch of coral in it. And then last up, we have a kind of this beautiful rose shade here. This one's a little bit harder to get because it is, you know, just really right on those edges there. So it's hard to isolate. So again, just like the bronzer, I think most people will probably use all three of these shades together or at least the top two. So here's the pink. You can see it's a really nice rosy shade. Let me show you these mixed. All right, so that's the highlighter all mixed together. I have to say, I love this highlighter. I really do. So spoiler alert, I really love that. Let's go ahead and take a look at some cheek demos while I talk about the product details. Then we'll come back and do some comparisons for the bronzer and the highlighter. So looking first at the bronzer, we have 18 grams of product here. It has a one year shelf life and it's made in Italy. And this retails for 105 US dollars in the United States. Although I have to say Bergdorf's had it for something like 98. So just something to note there, Ch check around just in case. And according to Hermes, this is a semi-matte mineral powder trio of sunny colors 
with a natural sun-kissed finish. We have a gentle formula made with 87% ingredients of natural origin, contains a hyaluronic acid deriv derivative and enhances all skin types, even sensitive. So keep in mind, anytime it says ingredients of natural origin, that does not mean it's a natural ingredient per se. That means that the starting ingredient was a natural ingredient and then it may have been modified from that time. So I really hate when companies refer to things as a natural origin ingredient to make it sound like it's more natural or more clean beauty than it might actually be. But honestly, I don't find it to affect the formula in any way. One thing to note, the ingredients, the first three ingredients on the bronzer here are talc, silica, and dimethicone. So I know that's gonna be a problem for some people. So just something to note there. Uh, the box, by the way, is from untreated recycled paper, so or recycled fibers. So that is always nice. I have to say the packaging on these, I think is really, I really like it. Now, as you've been seeing in the demos, I have used it with a couple of different bronzer brushes just so you can see the difference. But overall, it is gonna give you a nice sun-kissed finish, but it does lean warm. So it's a little bit warmer than I would like. So we'll talk about my thoughts on that later, but the formula itself, you can see, goes on very velvety. It gives you kind of this velvety matte appearance on the skin, and there's definitely a blurring effect with the bronzer. So I think the formula is incredible. It might be the best bronzer formula I have used. Uh, my favorite bronzer is the Gucci. That is mostly because, uh, well, I think the formula is great on that, but it's also mostly because the color is the best for me. And I would have to say this formula is better than the Gucci formula, but the color of the Gucci is better. So moving on to the highlighter, we also have 18 grams of product and it's made in Italy with a 12 month shelf life. And you know, I think this is an incredible highlighter. I mean, I'm so impressed with the highlighter and how it looks on the skin. And according to Hermes, this is an iridescent mineral powder trio of colors infused with light for a naturally radiant complexion. This time we have 90% of ingredients with natural origin. It also has the hyaluronic acid derivative and enhances all skin types, even sensitive. Uh, just like the bronzer, you know, they actually have separate ingredients here for the uh, the different shades on here. So, well, the lightest shade versus the two deeper shades are going to have a slightly different ingredient listing. The major difference there is really just switching the placement of a couple of the main ingredients. So the lightest shade starts off with talc, mica, dimethicone, and silica, whereas the two deeper shades have talc, mica, silica, dimethicone. So you can see the third and fourth ingredient are sw switched. So those are that's really gonna be your main change. It's not something you're gonna notice, at least I don't. And yeah, you know, I have to say though, overall, this, highlight you know when you swatch it it doesn't look like anything special but when you're looking at it on the skin regardless of which brush you use on this i feel like it gives you just this beautiful radiant glow and you know you can put this on very subtly you can build it up a little bit but it's never going to be one of those highlighters that's like a disco ball where you can see that highlighter it sort of melts in with your skin a little bit it reminds me a little bit of the suku melting powder blushes where after it's been on your skin it kind of mixes in or melts a little bit so it ends up with a little bit more of a cream finish like that type of natural meld in there and I have to say, it's really just gorgeous. And you know, even after 12 hours of wearing it yesterday, I just, I kept looking at it in the mirror because you know, straight on, you don't necessarily notice highlight. And then you just see this really gorgeous, you know, the light just catches it in a gorgeous way to give you this really beautiful radiance when you turn your head. And I'm just mesmerized by it. It does last all day, so does the bronzer. They're both fantastic. You know, obviously the bronzer is gonna have a slightly more matte finish on the skin. You can definitely see the blurring. The highlighter really just, it doesn't emphasize any texture or anything. And it really just kind of melts into your skin to give you more of a natural radiance. And, you know, I, I'm just like really happy with this. This is probably my favorite highlighter that I have purchased recently. I love the Clay de Peau Luminizers as well, but those are, 
those are different. Those um, are a little bit more shimmery than this is. And this just melts with your skin a little bit more. But aside from those, you know, most of these like limited edition highlighters and stuff that I've been picking up recently, this blows them out of the water in my opinion. I'm so happy with this one. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be a go-to highlighter. So it's been 10 hours since I applied the Hermes bronzer and highlighter. I want to show you how everything has performed. You can see that everything is fully visible. You can see on the eyes that it has not creased. It's performed really well as a shadow. And look at that highlight. I mean, seriously, I love this highlight. I'll bring you in closer. All right, so here you can definitely see the bronzer and the highlight. Everything you know, looks pretty much just as fresh as it did during application. You still have kind of that velvety blurred finish. And let me do a close up on the eyes. So here are the eyes. You can see how well the bronzer has performed as shadow. And I think overall the look with the bronzer and on the eyes and on the cheeks really worked well with this particular shade. So let me know what you think down below in the comments, please. All right, so let's go ahead and look at some bronzer comparisons. And I have kind of pared down my bronzer collection um, because yeah, I, these are just the ones that I use. So this here is the Guerlain Terracotta Light in 00 Light Cool or Claire Rose. And this came out last year. And I have to say, when I first saw the Hermes bronzer on my skin, color-wise, this is the bronzer that it made me think of. So I'm gonna put this one vertically so we can tell. But this is the Guerlain. Doesn't that look very much like the deepest shade here? So overall, you can see that the Hermes is lighter. It's a little bit more peachy compared to this one, which has a little bit more brown. Um, but you can see you know, the similarity between the deepest shade and this. So again, this is the Guerlain 00 Light Cool. This is the Viseart Bronzer in VBR01 Bronze Noir. And this is a really nice bronzer. I, I like this one. And this one I bought last year. You can see that this is gonna be cooler. And compared to these shades, it definitely looks more like a contour shade than a bronzer. Um, but that's really just because it's next to such warm shades. This is a really beautiful bronzer for, you know, neutral or cool undertones. Classic Tom Ford Terra here. And yeah, uh, this is always a great option. And you can see that Terra, again, is going to be cooler, has more brown in it. Now, this is really the bronzer that I use more than any other. This is the Gucci bronzer in 01. And let's put that one right here next to it. But you can see how much cooler in tone this is. Again, there's a little bit of red or pink in this, which really works well for people with fair skin, in my opinion. You can see how much warmer the Hermes is. You can definitely see the golden tones in there. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Powder Bronzer in number two. And I did have shade one before as well, but I passed that on to my cousin who is more fair than I because it just doesn't really work as well for me. But here's the Charlotte Tilbury. And you can see this has more brown in it. This is the Hermes is gonna be a little bit more golden, but it is, it is fairly similar. You know, even though this is a little bit more brown and this is a little bit more yellow orange, uh, I think they are still relatively close. Let's take a look at the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer while we're at it. And we're gonna put this one down here. You can see that this is gonna be cooler and it's more brown, but it's not necessarily a grayish brown. You can see it's still kind of a warmer brown. And then last up, we have the Chantecaille bronzer in Goa. And this is a really deep bronzer, especially for people with fair skin, but it can go on very beautifully. You can, you know, kind of buff that out, but it has those red undertones. And that's what this Hermes is missing for fair skin. Oh, and one more here. This is the Armani Neo Nude in 20. And let's just go ahead. This is another cream product. You can see again, it's gonna be cooler and more brown. So overall though, I have to say, I love the Hermes bronzer. 
I think it is an absolutely gorgeous, magnificent formula. That velvety airbrush look that you get on your skin, you know, I have not seen that from a bronzer. I think this gives you just, it, the finish on it is just incredible. I really love the finish. However, the shade 01, it's just a little bit too warm for me. There's a little bit too much yellow. So while it is something that I can still wear and use, it, the Gucci 01 is still my preference in color. However, if you are somebody who is perhaps a little bit warmer in skin tone than I am, and you don't need to have that redness to a bronzer to make it look natural, then this bronzer shade would be fantastic. I, again, this formula I just think is incredible. Now, last year, the Plan Air line that came out was this size. So the new ones are 18 grams, and this is the powder from last year. This was six and a half grams. It's the same size as the blush compacts. So you can see that, you know, the new one is oversized. Now, the highlighter that came out in last year's Plein Air collection, it was too deep for me. And, you know, I just didn't love it. So I passed that on to a friend. So I don't have that to compare, but let's go through my other highlighters and see what we have that match matches this one. The first highlight I wanted to start off with is a favorite of mine. This is the Guerlain Meteorites Pearl Dust Palette. It was a limited edition a few years ago and you know, it has not come back. But this is a true favorite of mine. You have three shades here. You have kind of this rosy shade, a white gold. Notice how much gold is in here compared to the Hermes. And then we also have this pearly amber, which is a peachy shade. And you can see this is gonna be a lot deeper. The finish on this is so nice. It's like almost like a creamy powder, very, very finely milled. Whereas the Hermes, you can feel isn't quite as smooth as the Guerlain, but the way it reacts with your skin is just really nice. So this has been a favorite of mine for, I don't know, like since it came out, maybe four years, three years. And this I think is kind of like, I, I don't know, like I don't think I've had like a true favorite since then, aside from the Chanel Duo de Camellias. That is a classic favorite. That will always be a favorite of mine. But other than that, you know, um, you know, there have been some great highlighters, but I think these are kind of my top three. So let me show you that one too. So this is the Chanel Duo de Camellias. And unfortunately this isn't really gonna you know, go with these here. I'm gonna put them right up here because we have kind of this white gold and a more yellow gold, but you can see how that compares to the white. Both of these, even the white shade in the Duo de Camellia has a golden undertone, which we don't have in the Hermes. Let's move on to some more highlighters. This is the Guerlain Tank Couture Shimmer Powder in 01 Shimmery Pink. It has been discontinued, but this has been a go-to more subtle highlighter for me for years. And you can see how this compares to all of these mixed together. It's just a little bit deeper, but it's very, very similar. And uh, yeah, I think it's a great alternative. This here is the Chanel Rev de Camellia highlighter, which I really like this one, but not enough to be a favorite. You can see this is gonna be warmer and peachier. And yeah, it's a little bit more metallic as well. This is Bobbi Brown Quartz Glow. Let's go ahead and put this right at the top. And you can see this is gonna be pretty warm and golden. This is the Bobbi Brown in Pink Glow, that kind of that classic highlighter from Bobbi Brown. I figure that's worth putting here. Let's put this one right here next to that because it is also going to be fairly similar. It's a little bit deeper and a little bit more peachy pink than the Hermes all mixed out. It's more of a combination of just these two shades, the two, the peachy and pinky shade from the trio. This is the Shantikai Lotus Radiance Highlighter. Really beautiful pink. This is gonna be pretty subtle though. Let me go ahead and put this down here. We'll re-swatch the Hermes in just a second. So this is the Chantecaille Lotus, and then we have the Chantecaille Pearl Lumiere here as well. This one's gonna be a little bit more uh, pearly pink in comparison. So there's that. You can see there's a little bit of 
almost like a color shift where it goes like white to pink. So let me just go ahead and swatch. This is the Hermes right there. So we'll keep the Hermes kind of horizontal just so you can see how those compare. You can see the Chantecaille, neither of them are quite a dupe for that, but the Hermes is kind of in between the two. And of course I wanted to look at Tom Ford Peach Light. The deeper shade on here is going to be too deep, but here's Peach Light. You can see it's a little bit more peachy and a little bit deeper than the Hermes, but it does have a little bit of a similar vibe with the finish. This here is the Clay de Pau in 201 Twilight's Glow. This is kind of a more intense shade. Let's see here. There we go. You can see it's gonna be a little bit deeper in tone than the Hermes. And let me look at a lighter one as well. This one here is 17 Celestial Sparks. And this used to be called Lavender in the before they redid them. You can see that's gonna be much more white and it's actually a brighter white than the white on its own. It's got more blue in here, whereas this has a little bit of warmth, almost more like an ivory. So those are my best highlighter and bronzer comparisons. I hope that was helpful. I have to say overall, I think the formulas on these are fantastic. I'm really happy with them. Now, would I purchase the bronzer again? I would try the bronzer again in a different shade. I'd like to be able to see them in person, but this one is just a little bit too warm for me to wear on a daily basis. However, the formula is incredible. I think it's really, really nice. So if you have a good shade in there, I would not hesitate to purchase it. The highlighter, however, I absolutely love the highlighter and I really think it's gonna work well on a variety of skin tones. There is a deeper highlighter for deeper skin tones, but it has not arrived here in the US yet. I don't know what's going on with that, but there is technically a deeper highlighter and hopefully that will show up soon. But I have to say, I just, I love the way it seems to kind of melt into your skin. It's, you know, kind of in between a radiant highlight and a subtle highlight, just because of the way that it kind of melts with your skin. And I just, absolutely love it. So the highlighter to me, it was a very exciting purchase. I'm really happy with that. And I would definitely pick that up again. So I'm very excited to continue wearing these and see how they perform long term. I will of course have an update at the end of the month and in the future. So and just a heads up, I was wearing the bronzer and the highlighter in yesterday's video on the new Dior Attic Lip Shines. So uh, you know, I have to say I really love them. So thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what your thoughts are on these items. If you tried either of these or if you are thinking about it. So I am, again, as I mentioned, I really love this highlighter. So let me know. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.